Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. We're taking a look at our eight foot deluxe skid assembly. This is meant to go right into the back of a pickup truck. Um, and this one has three different systems on it. So we've got an eight gallon, and a five and a half gallon pressure washer. And then we've also got a gas engine soft wash system with the new style P40 pump. On the passenger side, which is what we're looking at right now, this would be the front cab of the truck. And then this is the rear of the truck. Uh, we have all four of our hose reels accessible. Um, so these are electric rewind Titan hose reels. They're all aluminum framed. And the pressured reels, so that your soft wash ones, and your, um, I'm sorry, your soft wash one and your pressure washer ones all have stainless steel manifolds, so they're most bleach resistant. And then on our garden hose one, we've actually got a one inch manifold and that helps feed the water tanks to fill them faster. So uh, soft wash, we have 300 feet of soft wash hose, 100 feet of garden hose, which we can easily fit another 100 feet on here. And then we have 200 feet of pressure washer hose on each one of these reels. There's different colored hoses just to differentiate between the five and a half gallon and the eight gallon pressure washer so that it's nice and easy to tell. And then on the soft wash hose reel, we've actually got a gauge over here. It's a little hard to see, um, but this tells us what kind of pressure range we're running so that we're not over pressurizing any of our soft wash pumps. We'll go ahead and move around to the back side of the skid where you can see the equipment a little bit better. So we have our 3000 at five and a half cold pressure washer. And then we have our 3,500 PSI at eight gallon per minute cold pressure washer. And this has a GX690 Honda engine. That one has a 390 Honda engine. Both of these are belt driven systems. And then they're all connected to the water tanks um, as far as like the incoming water goes and then the cool bypass water. So whenever you let off your trigger, your pump is always cycling water. And to keep that pump head nice and cool, we circulate that water back to the water tank and it just keeps the pump protected, it keeps everything cool. You have to talk to a customer, you have time. You don't have to worry about running back and shutting off your machine. Uh, both machines are electric start. Uh, we have filters before each piece of equipment. Uh, there's actually a filter before it goes into the tank to keep a lot of debris out of your tank. And then we have uh, each fil a filter before each system. On the inside of the tank as well as a float valve. So that once your tanks are full, it'll stop filling. And then as soon as you start to deplete that water, it'll continue to fill as long as you've got a constant water source where your garden hose is connected. For the eight gallon pressure washer, we have a couple more things connected to it. So we have a remote bypass system. And what that is, is it will remotely go around your soap injector whenever you're using your eight gallon pressure washer. So if you're spraying a house and you're applying soap, but you still wanna use those low pressure nozzles to do your rinsing, you can press the button, it'll go around the injector and only spray water at low pressure. The other benefit of it is when you're surface cleaning, sometimes the chemical injectors can restrict your water flow a little bit because they have a very small orifice inside of them. And on higher flow equipment like eight gallons, you can tell a difference. So you're not quite getting all the water. So whenever you bypass that soap injector, you'll notice that you start surface cleaning a bit faster. So it plays a couple uh, benefits whenever you're washing. We also have a manifold for soap selection. So this is connected to both hoses, or I'm sorry, to both uh, pressure washer hose reels. So you can pull either bleach, surfactant, or you can pull from a random soap source. If you have a degreaser or a specialty cleaner that you want to use, this is where you would use that on the dip tube line. The other benefit is you can actually drop this down into your water tank and run water through your chemical injectors to keep those rinsed out as well. You can blend things together. So if you wanna open this one all the way and open up your, surf uh, your surfactant a little bit, you can blend those two together to run through your systems. We'll keep moving around the other side and get a better look at the soft wash system. So this has a Honda engine and the P40 pump. Um, a lot of people have been talking about the new style P40 pump. So we do have the newer one on here with the heavier duty manifold and regulator. Um, this is an electric start unit as well. And then we have this connected to a mixing system. So you can mix your water, your surfactant and your bleach. And then you can also switch between water and bleach on the bleach valve. So this is called a flush valve. So you can rinse your bleach out of your line, giving more longevity to the bleach valve itself, but also being able to pull a full water source through both through the system. And then you would just have to turn off your surfactant whenever you want to rinse. We have our seven gallon surfactant tank here, and then we have our 11 gallon fuel tank here with the vent and then also a gauge so you can see exactly where you're at whenever you're filling. 
The tanks behind us, we have our two 200, I'm sorry, two 100 gallon water tanks. These are slim tanks that are actually tied together. And then we have our bleach tank at the very back. So having those slim tanks gives us a little bit more space for the remainder of the equipment, keeps it nice and compact, and of course gives it a nice looking aesthetic as well. Um, the batteries here are for the equipment to power the remotes, to power the electric starts. Um, and then of course we've got um, switches here, all kinds of things into effect to essentially keep you from constantly drawing power from like your remote or something along those lines. So your battery doesn't go dead in between uses. Um, if you have any particular questions on this type of skid, um, this is a really, really nice setup in order to use two or three different people at the same time. We have the ladder rack for additional storage. There's all kinds of ways that you can use this for residential and commercial cleaning. But if there's questions that you have that aren't answered on our website, it's 3rpressurewashers.com. Feel free to give us a call and we can go over anything with you. Thanks.